Hi all, Lost Deep Punch Out TV. How are you all doing on this Saturday afternoon? Uh, I want to talk about the Conor Ben situation. Um, I want to take it back to where it all started. Well, from when I first heard about the breaking news that he had popped dirty for a banned substance or a masking agent, whatever it was, some woman's fertile drug or something uh, but I did make a video on it it was only a quick video and I didn't want to go in on the guy until I found out what was you know more facts would come out more evidence and all stuff like this but I've left it for what is it now five weeks something like that and to me nothing it's like it's it's just come to an end. There's there's nothing. I've just been online on my laptop trying to find like movement of what's happening, and all I keep finding is he's under investigation, pending further inquiries. Um, but for me, he did an interview a couple of weeks ago. I think it was about three weeks ago, saying that he's going to prove that he's innocent, and everyone should apologize to him now for me now for me where's his proof how long does it take to show proof of that you're innocent why have the british board of boxing control not not done anything about it is is he gonna get swept under the carpet this and forgotten about because to me that's what it looks like now, the Daily Mail broke the news that he had popped dirty for PEDs or whatever. He had popped dirty. So, like I say, I left it. Then it came out that a couple of weeks ago that he could have popped dirty before for a banned substance. So, I've like given them, given them time to come up with some kind of evidence. To show that he's an, that he's innocent, but nothing's happened. Where's the B sample? I've heard. I mean, these aren't facts. These are just what I've heard. I've heard that he's never taken a B sample. I've heard that he did take a B sample. So if he did, where's the B sample? I mean, I was against this fight anyway because from day one I thought he he was bullshit. It was just a fucking money spin. To me, it wasn't about him being legacy. He was saying he, he was, it was more to do with the flat family bloodline, obviously, because both of the fathers fought. But for me, I was always against this fight anyway, because I think there's there's people in, the, in his division who he should have been fighting. I mean, every time you asked him, or he was asked would he fit, fight David Avavisian. This is what he looked like. You know, wh wh why did he not, why was he not facing Virgil Ortiz or Jerome Boutsenis? They they were fights what I was looking for him to start progressing towards to because they're the next up and coming welterweights from the US and he's an up and coming welterweight from the UK. So I was looking at him progressing towards fighting them. Now I know why he's, how he starched Chris Algieri the way he did. I mean, to me, you, you, you were boiling a man down to a weight what he hadn't fought at since he was 18 years old. And they were juicing him up to a weight that he's never, never been at before. So you know it's it's obvious that the the man's a, well he's he's a cheat till proven innocent, which he, and he hasn't proved proved come up with any proof. So what would have happened to Chris Eubanks? What would have happened to him? You know, Eddie went in on Eddie went in on Jarrell Miller when he popped dirty. He went he went all out for him. Both guns. Uh, both barrels blazing, and so did I. 
he did I went in on on Jarrell Miller when he popped it I went in on Dylan White you know I went in on Canelo went in on Billy Joe Saunders so we've got to keep the same energy here and it's just pissing me off because I'm just thinking us fans you know boxing fans you got I mean after that shit, what fucking Bob Arum and Fish Eyes are serving up, Tyson Fury versus Derek Tesori, and I expect you to pay pay-per-view for it. Fucking hell, man, give me a break. But getting back to this, I want to know why there's been no fucking evidence proven from Team Ben that he's, that he's, that how this happened. I want to know where the B sample is. I want I want Eddie Earn to go on talk sports and get put asked proper questions by Simon Jordan. Cause Simon Jordan will roast him. He'll roast his arse. Simon Jordan won't tippy tappy with stupid little questions. He'll ask him the real questions what a real journalist or sport sports journalist will should be asking. But the problem is a lot of the people who Eddie Hearn speaks to, like IFL and all stuff like that, they're all they're all in with Eddie because he won't ask him the real questions because obviously they get access to the fighters. And if they start coming up with badass questions and Eddie don't like them, it's obvious what he's gonna do. They ain't gonna get access to them fighters again. So we we need Eddie Hearn on talk sport and let Simon Jordan ask him the proper questions. Of what the hell's going on with with this investigation? I mean, for me, I know that the British Boxing Board of Control are corrupt anyway. Everyone knows that. Um, but I mean, I just want to know. I want Eddie to sit down and give us boxing fans a real, real description of what's going on and what's happened. How long did you know for? You know, stuff like that. Did you know? Didn't you know? I don't know. I want to know these questions. How did Conor Ben fail a drugs test? How? What's being done about it? Where's the B sample? Just like, like you swept Dillian White's B sample under the rug when he fought Oscar Rivas. He popped dirty. No B sample ever turned up. Then he ends up fighting Oscar Rivas. Why was Eddie Hearn trying to, fight, to take this fight to look uh, Luxembourg, you know, he's a, he's a drugs cheat. He failed the drugs cheat. He popped dirty. And it's quite clear you can see how he's starching people. Chris Algieri's come out and said it. I mean, this is all old news. We all know this. Chris Van Erden's come out and said it. He could have been using them when, when, he, when he fought him. Like I say, this is old news. But what I'm asking for is I want to know what's being done about it. Because to me, it's just all gone hush hush. Are they waiting for the public? As Eddie said to Connor, oh, take a year off, come back in a year, it'll all be forgotten about. I don't know. I want to know these answers, what's going on. Why is Connor Ben not proving or pulling up any evidence to show that he's innocent? You know, why is Eddie, why is Eddie not answering proper questions? Uh, and giving the fans an insight to what's that, what's happening or and what did happen, how he managed to get this in his system, what's being done about it, is he gonna get a, is he gonna get a four year ban, because that's what I've read, or isn't he gonna get a ban? I don't I don't I don't know I just I want some answers and I think I think the boxing community and all the boxing fans deserve an answer, these answers because. For me, Eddie Hearn, Eddie Hearn's lost a lot of credibility over here. I mean, I'm on a lot of boxing web pages on Facebook and I read the comments all the time and everyone's stripping him, stripping him. So for 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 him to for him to get a bit of respect back for himself, he needs to come out and give proper answers and proper questions to the fans, not just soft ass fucking media asking him tippy tappy questions what he can tiptoe around get someone like i say simon jordan to sit down with him get simon jordan to ask him questions but you know it's not gonna happen but boxing is a fucking joke at the moment man now I'm, I'm, I'm 
I mean, I'm just a shitty little channel. And no one's going to listen to me, but I just think it's right because I think I think we deserve some answers. You know, a lot of people lost a lot of money, not not with tickets, because I think they're getting the money back off the tickets, but accommodation, travel, stuff like that. So I think I think them people deserve answers. You know, how long was, how long's he been juicing? Because according to whoever it was, I can't remember if it was Daily Mail, but someone come out and said that he he he, he could have failed a drugs test. He already could have been juicing six months prior to that. So has he been juicing for the last couple of years? You know, I think I just think it's a joke, and I think us boxing fans deserve some answers. So for me at the moment, Conor Ben is king of peds. And that's what I'm going to label this video until I see evidence that he can provide to us that it's a satisfied uh, evidence, answers, sorry, that he's innocent. And he ain't going to do it because if he was going to do it, he'd, he'd have come forward now with the evidence. But like I say, all this is going to just get brushed under the rug and forgotten about. You mark my words. Unless they set an example for him. That's what they need to do. Say, right, you've got till the end of the month. <clears throat> you've got till the end of November to come up with some evidence. If you haven't got it, you're getting banned for four years. That's what should happen. And that's how it should go. You're a dirty fighter. You've been juicing, cheating to get the edge over people. I mean... It's quite disgusting when you think about it, boiling someone down to a weight what they've not fought at since they were a kid, whilst you're juicing to get uh, to get the edge over them. It, it's fucking disgusting. And the, like I say, I think we need answers and we need them now. But that was just a thought what was on my mind after, you know, all the shit what's going on in boxing. Uh I just want some answers, that's all. So anyway, it's Losty. Peace out. I'll catch you on the next one.